So St. Mary's looking for his first basket. So that wraparound hook shot from Kuzi. Here comes Childs leading the break. T.J. Hawes pull up three is good. What both teams want to do. They want to get the ball side to side and find open looks beyond the three-point line. The top two teams in the country shooting beyond the arc. He keeps his hot play. Ten points now on the evening. Childs wrap around. Good. What a move. They'll occasionally go to this, but they're mostly a man-to-man -man defensive team. Ford wanted it back. Got it back and finds the freshman underneath the basket. Shot blocked. Kyle Bowen kind of had a hard time gathering the ball. Couldn't get it to drop, but he is so shifty when he puts the ball on the deck and attacks. Pull up, pause, three! Pushing off and exploding off of that ankle. Uh, but BYU has got to take advantage in transition opportunities because that's where they have the advantage. Fitz has the ball guarded by Childs. He may have the quickness advantage, and he decided to take it right to the rim. Shot clock under 10. Fitz contested three. Another one goes down for Malik Fitz, who is just on a tear from outside the arc. So relentlessly feeding Malik Fitz the ball, and it's been so effective. Here's Ford. He finds his teammate wide open for three. How do you not guard him? The pass from Childs. Fitz is going to lead the break. He'll give it up to Ford. Shot blocked by Toulson. What a play by Toulson. Now BYU runs the court for the layup. BYU over 55. St. Mary's over 60% from the field. How about Hawes with the nifty ball handling? And then he finished. Ford turns the corner. Bounce pass down low. With a foul, Dan Fotu will go to the free throw line and try to finish off a three-point play. Good possession defensively. Hawes went right back to that same spot, and he tied the game. That's Bowen who came away with it. Fotu pinned, but he finds Dukas. That three is good. Not for long. He's going to get it back, though. Clock at 10 for three. Pause. Good! Checking the clock just to see. The timeout was called after the main basket, so they want to get the timing right. So this is what they're looking at. I think... Yeah. For three, Jordan Ford for the Gales. One of the best scorers in college basketball. And they'll find a way to get Ford the ball. Across midcourt, Jordan Ford going to go down the lane. The runner is no good. Ball tipped around. Shot blocked. BYU wins.